bring food? What? Did you bring food? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there you go. You're good. Stop. You gotta use the brakes too with the clutch. Uh, there you go. Now you can put it in the car. Now down. You can throttle down. Perfect. Combine caught fire. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. What'd you do that for? What? What'd you do that for? What? Catch the combine on fire for. I don't know. I just <laughs> felt the need to light a match. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is you're watching. Hey, it's good to have you here. Second day of harvest. We are going to pick the last 10 acres of that field. We did not finish last night. We actually buried the wet holding bin. Um, so we couldn't really go any further. And then I think we are going to switch to beans. We're just gonna start cutting beans because they're ready to go. And when beans are ready, you cut beans. As the days only get shorter and they get tougher to cut, the later in the season it gets. So we're gonna just drop into beans, get as many acres as we can done before we head over to our sand ground for our corn. We'll possibly see where the rest of the beans are at, but maybe just stay on beans and get them out. Uh-oh. We got here. Dryer's not running. Bin is still over half full. Something happened, but what? I see a bunch of corn on the ground. Um, no, that's just a hole in the tube. So this kicked off. There's corn under the dryer, so it wore a hole through the bottom. Ay, yeah, yeah. Always. Air system's off. That's weird. Usually, if something happens with the dryer, the air system stays running. But that's all turned off. Did we lose power? We may have we may have just lost power for a brief moment. Panel's open. I don't know. We have to figure out what's going on here. Well, I was right. As it turns out, the power did go out about nine o'clock this morning. So that bin is actually just about to turn off that indicator. I would imagine I was running about 400 bushel an hour through here. So 10, 12 hours, you know, it had to cone down, which is a little over a thousand bushel and then drag it down to about halfway down the bin. So there's probably maybe 4,000 bushel left in there. So, which is gonna give us plenty of room for the 10 acres we got left. And uh, if we were sticking to corn, I'd go ahead and fire the second dryer and really get this stuff out of here. But since we're gonna be switching to beans, this stuff can, this can run all day today. and and uh, clean out this wet holding bin while we're picking beans, so not a big deal, but I am gonna fire it up now, and actually the, the power just flickered again not 15 minutes ago, so hopefully it stays running. Spreader should be on still, but make sure. Okay, that should be good to go. Now we just got to get this truck empty so that I can get what's off of the cart. I'm wearing all the high vis today. The orange shirt, orange hoodie. That's what's going on. Can't shut her down until he gets those closed, obviously. <laughs> I was wondering what that sound was. 
Yeah, it's a loose chain, nothing crazy. But it would have jumped soon enough. That's gotta be fixed. This tractor needs fuel too. I don't know. That's not a whole lot of play. Oh, it broke. God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it did, and it turned that. That's. I see. <laughs> that would be the problem. Hey, you're in my world. You're pretty good. <laughs> Much gooder. Dad is putting the door in the main bean bin that we're going to be running later today. And then we're good to go and we can just go pick some more corn. Tractor sealing. Truck's almost empty. Time to bug it. The real boss is here, my wife. So this ought to be scary. I don't know what I did wrong. Hopefully she brought me food. Did you bring food? What? Did you bring food? I'm driving. Driving? That's me. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> We're driving. You go, go to the right a little bit. Driving. You're driving fast. You're driving fast. Oh, it's so bumpy. <laughs> it's bumpy. It's bumpy. <laughs> yeah, it's bumpy. I go faster. <laughs> you want to go faster? <laughs> I don't know. It's a little bumpy now. Whoa! It's fast. It's so funny. Come on. Hard. Come on. It's a little hard. Yeah. Look at all the corns. Uh-oh. That's okay. You gotta pay attention to the road. Nah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What happened? It's just bumpy. Going over the rows. This is this is Papa. Who's that? Papa. That is Papa. Is that Papa? Papa? Yeah, he's got corn on the combine, doesn't he? What happened? It's not that happened, it's just bumpy. Let Daddy drive. All right, yeah, Daddy better drive now. Look at the snow. Yeah. That's Jackie. Look. 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 drive? Oh, sorry. I won't touch it. <laughs> I got to. You're getting off the roads. You gotta drive straighter. I'm gonna make it. Yeah. I'm on the road. Yeah. Oh, she shut the door on us. Rude. You ready? Is Daddy gonna, or is Grandpa going to let us drive the combine? Huh? Oh, you went down? We're going to go down. The dog stole your corn. It's not nice. Here. One bad thing about the stock devastator. Yeah, baby. Pin it. I'm pinning the stock devastator up. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the cart going crazy for that last one? <laughs> she grabbed the shifter and pulled it into neutral. <laughs> Let's 
trying to feed her the corn. She's like, I don't want any of that. Hold the burger. Okay, the corn is done. I just gotta get this truck. Oh, wrong way. Gotta get the truck unloaded completely. Switch over to these. Time we get the draper on. Hopefully it doesn't blow this tire. The sidewall is cracked over here because of just from the sheer weight of this flex draper. sneezing from the beans. I forgot there is nothing over here. It's a single drive. Well, no. I gotta unlock this. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not totally useless over here. Yeah. Can I do that while it's up? I think you can do it while it's up like that and then he just has to drop it to unlock it and then pick it back up. Get the frown to it. Well, at least the neighbors know that we've got something done now. 50 acres of corn in the bucks. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Now we're just setting up to this bean bin here. We're gonna go ahead and get on to our biggest bean, bean bin. We got 120 acres of beans that we're going to be doing over here. Um, should fill this bin. Hopefully, all of them won't fit. But the way we were kind of seeing things is they're a little small. We might have too much room in this bin, which is a bad thing. But we're really curious to get into some beans. It's absolutely beautiful weather right now. The beans are definitely dry enough. They'll run. We're quitting on the corn, even though we know we got some on the sand that's way too dry as well but we just need to get the beans out of here we don't want to be waiting until a freeze in the winter just to start cutting beans so we're gonna try and knock them out as quick as we can I'm thinking it's gonna lift up here level out the trucks to where it's gonna come far enough over because obviously I got them too far to the right now but I think the ground's gonna level out near the bin so I sent them to the right a little further yeah yeah it's looking perfect keep coming come on Looking beautiful so far. Might, might have sent them back a little too far. Down. Oh, it's beautiful. Perfect. We've got the fancy new back saver on this one now too. Hopefully it'll run over these stalks. Didn't think about that. Is this on? They're on. So I'm hoping they can run over these stalks okay. I think I need more. Oh, maybe not. The taut yet. I think these are will actually be better than the ones that you got on the on the uh, brand auger there. I'll bring the truck over, see if they work. I guess. Man, that's gonna be nice having that. Just push our remote and send it any way you want. Oh, slick. This place is a mess. How am I supposed to fit in here? You're on your own, cow. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
Star Trek. <laughs> You're gonna have to go get your own. Are you watching cartoons? I don't know what I do. You can, well, you can cuddle down or you can just hit the clutch. Either one. Thank you. Sorry. My hoodie. My big feet are in the way, I know. I don't know. I'm I'm sorry, I, I got a two year old in my lap. Oh, you're doing good. No, you're good. I was just saying, don't hit the clutch trigger. Hold on, never mind. Hold on. Mom's unloading the beans. <laughs> there you go. You're good. Stop. You gotta use the brakes too with the clutch. Uh, there you go. Now you can put it in the car. So now down. You can throttle down. Perfect. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> Let's see him. Oh, ho, ho. such a pretty baby. <laughs> what a cool cat. How cool. Okay, she did good. Is it loud, Everly? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to sample of these beans to test. It might be a little wet yet. Dad's combine said 12.8, so we're going to see what they are. Okay, so Dad's hand tester said 12.8. They're right at 53. They're about 87 degrees, I can tell you that. Oh, no, I'm just... Here we go. Meter reading, 53. 14.15. And then temperature... About 90. Does that sound right? So minus 0.73, somewhere in there. So they're about 13 and a half. Sounds like he's pulling in with a combine, so maybe he thinks they're too wet too, or as well. 13 and a half. Uh-oh. Blue belt, maybe? on fire. I see. How did you see that? I lost all my power. I think I burned the harness in two. Oh, I see. So, you know, the combine caught fire the last time on beans. First yeah, day. I know. Oh, it's still smoldering right there. Yeah, buying that plate is smoldering. I'm wondering if. On what plate? Plate with this bearing. Yeah, right in back behind there. I thought I smelled it when we were unloading over on the other side. I thought I smelled something burning. I thought you were coming in because I tested those, they were about 13.5%. I'm like, oh, he must have gotten into some wetter stuff, that's why he's coming in. <laughs> 
And then he pulled over here, and I'm like, what is he I doing? I thought him out. I hope that feels we didn't catch the field on fire somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say, if it was dripping fire in the field, I should probably go check, actually. Go see if I can't see any smoke out in the field. Look at these two bums. Always playing on the job. I'm going to go ahead and walk over here and make sure I can't see any smoke out in the field. Make sure he didn't catch the field on fire. Because that would be bad. This happened last year, too. The very first, first day of cutting soybeans, we had a chopper bearing go out. It was just dripping fire all throughout the field. And I pulled in with a truck. And I said, hey, uh, did you throw a cigarette out and just didn't stomp it out? <laughs> he goes, no. Walks out, or looks out the door, and sure enough, yeah. There was fire all the way down the field. Nothing huge yet. Just enough to where we could just walk out and stomp on it, put it out. And we're about to leave to go get parts, and I said, gosh, I said, it looks like all the way down on the far, the far end from us, it, I feel like I see smoke. And he said, well, we better safe than sorry before we leave. And we drive all the way down there, and sure enough, there was a patch about this big around that was on fire. And it would have, well, we would have had a, total disaster on our hands if it would have spread while we were gone. I don't see anything though. I don't see any smoke. Yeah, these gray beans actually look better than the white beans, or the red beans, excuse me. Still kind of mushy. They're not really, if they're fit, you know, they'll crunch. But if they mush a little bit, they're, you know, they might not be fit. If they're really mushy, obviously, you know they're really not fit. These are the red beans. You can see the difference here. These are red, darker color. And these are more gray. I was hearing guys were saying the red beans were actually 10 to 20 bushel better than the gray beans in the same field. This year, anyway. I can tell you those red beans are much drier. Can you hear it? Probably not, but they're actually cracking. Those gray beans I just put in my mouth were kind of mushy yet. So I don't know, and we just cut the reds, and I, that's what I just tested, and they were 13 and a half. So that's not really dry enough. I mean, they'll cut, but we're gonna be storing these. As long as we got a good fan on the dryer, they'll be okay, but I, I hate putting any beans over 13% in a bin because, gosh, so just having your beans go out of, out of condition in the bin is just, I mean, even corn, any, any grain sucks, but beans are just the worst. They pick up moisture so fast. It's just, yeah. They're, I feel like they're just very prone to going out of condition, so I don't know what we're going to do, especially with the combine on fire. I, I don't know what kind of parts we need. This could be a weekend-long ordeal. Tomorrow is Saturday, so stuff should be open with harvest, but if we got to go anywhere besides locally, you know, it, it could take all weekend to get it. I don't know. We'll find out. Hopefully it's nothing bad. I was going to say hopefully it's just a bearing, but it's been impossible to find bearings anymore either. you got to fly them in through ch from China. Combine caught fire. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. What'd you do that for? What? What'd you do that for? What? Catch the combine on fire for. I don't know. I just <laughs> felt the need to light a match. Is that... Is it bare right there? Well, that's all melted. Oh. Oh, that's not crap on there. That's just melted plastic. Yes, it is. Well, that would make sense That's a ground. with it being a ground. Uh, so we could be chasing wires for days. There's quite a lot up there that's, that's fried. I don't know what the hell's fried there either. Yeah. 
That's a sim sensor, I think. I think they, they're going to have to come out and look at it. I got to be honest, I didn't expect that one. Nope. Wow. Modern technology. <laughs> Putting it in the worst possible environment there is, and guess what's going to happen? At least one of us is having fun today. Well, I do have to say, we already got our combine fixed. It's ready to go. And it was only, I don't know, two days last night. We went ahead and bought ourselves a green combine. <laughs>